Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I am Puan Zarina Binti Hashim, an English language excellent teacher from SMK Makmandin in Penang. Today, I'm going to share a tool in enhancing students' speaking skill. The title is OTR Kit. Okay, now let us take a look at what is OTR Kit. OTR Kit is a tool in helping students to describe photos by using adjectives in the correct order during their speaking activities. The letter O stands for order, T for them, and R for right. In this kit, the tool has been enhanced to include a board, a dice, marker pens, and a duster. So it comes with a board of five columns. So each column reflects the ordering of adjectives from opinion, size, age, color, and object. And this kit is being used during speaking activity where students work in four person groups. Okay, now let's talk about the objective. So the first objective is to assist students in speaking about photos while using the appropriate adjectives and in the correct order during their speaking exercise. The second objective is to enable students to score good results in part two speaking tests for Form 3 Summative Assessment. There are two issues that I want to highlight here. The first issue is there is no adjectives being used to describe the nouns as you can see from the sentence in the picture. So the students did not manage to use the adjective to describe the nouns. The second issue is the adjectives are used but they are not in the correct order. So these are one of the issues that I want to highlight. Now let's take a look at the process of carrying out this activity using the OTR kit. The first process is students are divided into groups of four or five. Then every group is provided with an OTR board together with a dice, marker pens and a duster. Before the game starts, each group will be given a series of pictures for them to arrange accordingly. Then, later, one person starts by throwing the dice and if it falls on number one, then the person will describe the first picture. If they fall on number six, they have to draw the dice again until they get the other number. Next, while describing the pictures, the person will have to identify the nouns in the picture and use adjective at least two and write the adjectives following the correct order on the OTR board. Then, students write their sentences in their exercise book to help them in describing their pictures later. The game continues until all the pictures have been described. The first group to finish describing the pictures will shout bingo. Then, the teacher will, will take note and wait for another group to finish the task. Later, the first group to shout bingo will be asked to share their ideas to the class. Finally, the activity ends after all the groups have presented their ideas to the class. After using the board with the students in class, we can now say that the students managed to write a slightly longer sentence by using adjectives 
and arrange them in the correct order. This is an analysis of data uh, based on the formative assessment that has been carried out in the class. So the data has shown that the number of students who have uh, improved in their speaking activity from uh, pre-intervention, uh, which is only six students, okay, managed to uh, describe the photos using the adjective. And then after the intervention, you can see that the number of students have increased to 11. So this has shown that the OTR kit helps students in describing photos during their speaking lessons in class. Now, let us take a look at the impact on students. First, students are more focused and engaged during the lesson. Students can learn about adjective in groups and students can arrange the adjectives in the correct order. Apart from that, students are able to describe pictures for their part 2 speaking test. And they also learn about teamwork in uh, carrying out the activities. And it also encourages participation from uh, from medium average students or good students. And now the impact on teachers. Teachers can easily control the class because now they act as facilitators and they can also monitor a student's performance, especially when we do in class. Uh, we are more on uh, assessing the students formatively and as I said just now teacher can act as facilitators where the students take control of the lesson and uh, the formative assessment can be carried out in class where teachers can easily assess their students and uh, last but not least teachers are more motivated to conduct lessons in the future with the participation from the students. I'm sure teachers uh, will be more um, intrigued or in, they have more interest to create interesting lessons for their students. To conclude, it is hoped that this technique can be of use to other English teachers in ESL classroom for productive skills like speaking and writing. So with this intervention, speaking lessons will be more interesting and engaging for students. And uh, therefore, students can score good grades for their speaking tests in summative assessment. So that's all from me. Thank you.